This is not that extraordinary. But <sighs> oh, wow. Game. So it's election night. Oh. oh. After 11 p.m. for my time. It's pretty early New York time. I think everyone's all but decided Trump has this in the bag. He's won. Hillary's people have told Hillary's party to go home and go to bed. I think I'm going to go to bed too because I have to get up at 4, 5 in the morning to go to work at 6. And uh, by that point, you know, I will know who won. Everyone on CNN is fighting. Uh, Twitter, social media is blowing up. We're all just watching this, but at this point, Trump needs such few votes that, I mean, it's basically his game and the fact that the Hillary's people told Hillary's camp, like, party people to go home is not a really good sign. Um, she's expected to make a statement tomorrow, and I think she's kind of accepted that's it. It's game over. And that's why she's composed. Because everybody all night long knew that she had two speeches prepared, losing one and then winning one. And, um, there's no reason for her not to go and give the losing speech to the supporters who waited at that party all night. Unless she's too upset to do it. Because we know both of those speeches were written. They should have been ready to go. Um, but yeah, CNN is like a, such a, a show right now. They are speaking over each other and they've lost all a sense of civil, civility or whatever. Clinton will not speak tonight right there. What would he do on election night if the roles were reversed and Donald Trump... So, you know, I gotta get up in the morning, I got work, I don't even know if we're gonna sleep really well. My friends are all freaking out, my American friends I should specify, but this is it guys, like this is, and I know that, you know, there's still a chance that recounts could happen because it's so close. You never know. This could play out differently, but right now it's not looking very good. So, I just can't. I'm just shell shocked right now, you guys. Like a year and a half ago, whenever when Trump announced he was running, everyone thought it was a joke. No one thought he was actually going to get anywhere. They were taking bets on when he was going to drop out, and then he slowly gained momentum, and he especially gained momentum on social media. I think that might be where his votes came from. The young vote, like I think he swung the young vote. Or people were just tired of whatever party it is Obama's a part of. So that's eight why years of that, right? And if Hillary would have been would another four years, you never know how it played out and why, but we'll find out soon. But, you know, it's just, it was such a joke at the beginning. And then this is it, this is it. He's going to be your president, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's just blowing my mind right now. But, um, I mean, yeah. at this point, I'm... I'm gonna just go to bed and call it a night because Hillary told everyone to go to bed and I didn't really have a have a say in this election so I'm not American, I'm Canadian. But I didn't imagine Trump was gonna win. I thought Hillary had in the bag, yo, like <laughs> I just feel so bad for her right now. I thought America America was on the cusp of once again making presidential history after electing their first African-American president. They could have elected the first woman president in American history. It looks like that's not going to be what happens. So I'm just mind-blowing. But yeah, when I wake up in the morning, who knows? It could be different, but I just don't think so. Trump is expected to make a speech at some point. And since Hillary Clinton is now announced, she's not making a speech. Just... Odds are stacking up. Just mind blown right now, America. What have you done? What have you done? <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Well, just have to wake up in the morning and see how it goes, guys. But this is not. This is just. No one expected this to happen. And if you'd asked people a year and a half ago when Trump announced that he was going to run. If they thought he actually was going to be president, I don't think anybody thought that's what was going to happen. 
they took him as a joke. They thought he was a joke. And this is it. This is what happens. <laughs> I think they're saying Trump is arriving in his party. That's a hat in a box. That's I'm guessing he's going to take it out of the box. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so why is uh, Donald Trump arriving? Uh, we assume he yep. will be speaking. So I'm sorry, but continue, David. No, what I was going to say is Corey said earlier, and he's right, that people have heard from you. Know, Bill Clinton ran. Okay, Trump's arriving. He's going to make a speech. Hillary's sent someone on her behalf to tell everybody to go home. Go home. So I guess this is it. He's all but one, guys. That have particularly been visited upon. So uh, maybe you'll see a speech. Maybe I'll go to bed uh, after a speech. But sector, I'm definitely gonna go to bed when I get home in the morning. <laughs> but who did you think was gonna win? Like, did you vote? Were you American? Is this what you wanted to choose? Like, <laughs> I guess we just have to have faith that he'll step up, step up to the plate and surprise us all. But I mean, this is a surprise. I mean, Donald Trump doesn't think it was a surprise. He's been winning this all along. Make America great again. So I guess now we just have to have faith that he will. And I figure it's going to be a while before anything actually changes, no matter who won. Um, so you don't get to go to office immediately, and then changes take time, changing the law, making new laws, whatever, that takes a lot of time. So, nothing's going to happen overnight. This isn't the end of the world right, right now. And it will also depend on the other countries, too, like, who's going to support who and how that's going to go. Um, but right now, like, just like Brexit, we're seeing... Many moons ago, Markets the fall the right now at the moment, John too. Basic. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. But this is like Brexit 2.0, guys, the North American version. No one thought Brexit was going to happen, and look what happened. <laughs> Brexit happened, nobody thinks Trump was going to win, and look what's happening. Trump is probably going to win. <laughs> God, I just can't believe it. It's so crazy right now, man. <sighs> so I guess we just hope for the best. Hope the best. Come on. Like, just have faith in Trump. I guess. <laughs> have faith in humanity. Have faith in that America will get it right in four years from now. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Again, this is me. It's Chelsea. Um, I hope that you've had a good night. Um, I hope that no matter where you are or what you're doing, that you find a reason to smile every day. I think that's really important, especially now, obviously, right now, because some days are sad and hard, and if you can find a reason to smile, then I think you can find a reason to hold on to hope. So smile, and let's hold on to hope together. Bye, guys.